wanted to, in a way, cross the elements of time and space with this. This new series is about a tragic love story that happened between an architect in Los Angeles. His name is Rudolf Schindler. He's a Viennese architect that came to the United States in the early 1910s to work with Frank Lloyd Wright. And he ended up building in 1920 his own house in Hollywood called nowadays the Schindler House. It was meant to be his home. And in doing so, he brought some innovation to the architectural world. It was a time that a lot of Europeans came to Los Angeles and this house was in a way a hub for all these uh, bohemians and intellectuals of the time. I started learning more about him at the, with the Architectural Archives and I ran into a letter, a love letter, a breakup letter that he wrote to a woman. And in a way that's when my story started because I was able to create this person and bring her into the house, bring her uh, closer to him in his thoughts. It's a very personal letter and it's handwritten by Rudolf Schindler, it's signed by him, but it doesn't have a title or it's not addressed, it doesn't have a name of a person who he wanted to send it to, which is perfect because it allows me to then create this person. I'm known for photographing people, nudes, and figuration. And it was interesting for me this time to have the figure cross the realm of time. So one way that I wanted to explore to help me do this was to use the technique from the 1920s by the photo surrealists and to experiment with solarization. So in a way, solarization is this experimental uh, darkroom technique that splits the image into a very realistic rendering of the person and the more recording aspect of photography where you may acknowledge she was there, but it also has elements that fade away and dematerialize themselves in the image, which is the other side of photography, which is the more fantasy side or the more fictional side. In a way, for me, it was important to have the concept of this letter as a foundation to create this person. Who could this woman have been? And how could I transport her from the 20s into nowadays? Or how could I transport her from being physically there to being there in maybe his or her thoughts about him? <music> 